Hey guys, welcome back to Lip Swatch Week. It is day two, Tuesday, Lip Swatch Week. And obviously, as you already know, because you've already seen the majority of this video, I was lip swatching the Anastasia Anastasia. I know that I say it wrong, I say Anastasia, but Anastasia just doesn't roll off my tongue. Um, so the Anastasia, what are these called specifically? Liquid lipsticks. I of course don't have the whole collection, but I purchased these six myself. And I do want to quickly talk about these because even though I really love them, there are a couple things about them that I don't like and I want to share them with you. So liquid lipsticks are like all the rage right now. Every company is coming out with them. And I'm not going to lie, Lip Swatch Week contains a lot of liquid lipsticks just because that's what's in right now. If you guys want me to do Lip Swatch Week um, more often, then maybe I won't include liquid lipsticks next time I do this. But anyway, they are my newest obsession and I have become like addicted to buying them and seeing which brand has best ones. So my all time favorite liquid lipsticks in the history of the world are the Girlactic lip paints. They're my favorite because they're really, really soft on the lips. They don't dry my lips out. They're super, super soft yet they're very long lasting. Most liquid lipsticks are going to be long lasting. So those are my favorite ones. Um, the Lime Crime ones are really great as well, but they are a little bit drying. Now, the formula on these are a little bit different from the Lime Crime ones, if you're familiar with those. This goes on like a cream. It's not like super liquidy, although it is liquidy. It goes on more creamy than anything. Like it has like a thicker, creamier, moussey texture. It's not just straight like liquid. Which is good because it doesn't dry out your lips. Like these are um, not hydrating or moisturizing because they are like a matte liquid lipsticks. Those are always going to be a little drying. But they're not as drying as a lot of different companies. Because of the texture and the way it goes on, it's like very, very smooth um, and very soft to the touch. It's not going to suck all the moisture out of your lips. Now I guess because of that fact, these don't last as long as I thought they would. To be completely honest with you, they're not super long wearing. Out of all the liquid lipsticks I own, these are the least, well, these last the least amount of time. I wore vintage um, when I met ColourPop. Like when I met with ColourPop, I wore this. And I was at ColourPop for about two hours or three hours and then we went out to lunch. And when I was eating lunch, like it ended up coming down to here and it was kind of like crumbling and just like went away. Like I like lost all of it when I was eating. It only stayed like right at the outer rim. Most of this was like completely gone, so I was very shocked, like a lot of my other ones last at least seven hours, at least six or seven hours. This I got like four hours out of it. So I mean, that kind of sucks. This is definitely something that I would recommend taking with you in your purse to touch up. And for me, that's a big bummer because I like liquid lipsticks so that I don't have to touch up throughout the day. But definitely with these, they don't last as long. But they are a little bit more like moisturizing than other ones. So I mean, you give and you get, I guess. Another thing is that sometimes these can wear a little weird, especially Pure Hollywood. This is the one that I was most excited for. And after about an hour, like just an hour wearing this, I get that really gross crustiness right in the center here you know like that white line i get that big time with pure hollywood not so much with the other colors um but with the lighter ones like lovely gives it to me a little bit but pure hollywood i really get that crustiness right up in there they smell really nice they smell like mac pro longwear concealer i mean they smell decent vintage looks a lot darker on me than it looks in the tube and vamp is a lot vampier on my lips than it looks in the tube. And I get the, I get that question in real life as well. Like, hey, what do you have on your lips? And when I tell them, they're like, I have that, but it looks darker on you. Like, I always get that. So just keep that in mind. But besides that little setback of it getting a little crusty on the inside, well, this one does, and not lasting as long, I really like them. They're really good. They're not my favorite liquid lipstick on the market, but they're really good and she has a ton of colors. And also another really cool thing, because they're kind of creamy, like because they have kind of like a creamy texture to them, I can, I, I mix them and they are really good for mixing. For example, like I just put some on the back of my hand, like I'll put this one right here, I'll just show you. I'll put some on the back of my hand, this is Pure Hollywood. It's actually what I have on my lips right now. I have a combination of Pure Hollywood and Vamp mixed together. So I put, actually I put a little bit less Pure Hollywood, but whatever. So I put Pure Hollywood and Vamp on the back of my hand and then I grabbed a lip brush and I mixed them together. 
and it created this really pretty like dark mauve shade and then I applied it to my lips like that because they don't dry as fast as Lime Crime does since the texture is a little creamier they don't dry that fast so I actually prefer that so I like to mix my colors you can get a bunch of different colors you know they're like mixable and stuff so that's something that I really like that I don't see a lot in the other brands so I mean that's good so yeah that is everything I have to say about them thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you have